Hey guys, welcome to my demo, I guess videos of the Super Smash Brothers for 3DS. I just downloaded the demo a little while ago. Before we get started, please like this video as we're going to jump right into the action. We're going to be playing against a level 9 character and starting out with Link. Um, in the demo version, you have 5 characters available for you. Mario, Pikachu, Link, Mega Man, and The Villager. And all 5 will be featured in the, this video. I think I might be doing multiple videos. <laughs> we're going to be using the Final Destination version of the Battlefield stage. What I really enjoyed about this game, this demo here, um, the graphics are a lot better than I actually expected. I wasn't sure how this would work, increasing the frame rate using the D 3DS like that. But from what I can see, it came out pretty well. And it's very fluid, the buttons, you know, the button mechanics are pretty good. And the character designs are well done. If you look at the um, five that they selected, they actually kind of counter each other. There's a lot of ways to... I guess counteract the five characters there, there's no overpowering character. It may just be the character selection for the demo, but from what I can see, this game is a lot more balanced. Um, if you're looking at this, I'm actually like doing alright on Link. And generally when I first started playing these games, each of the new installments, I sucked for the first like three months. But um, this is actually going pretty well. And every stage in the 3DS and Wii U versions has their own Final Destination stage where there's no items, there's no um, ledges or anything. It's just ba basically a platform with the design of the uh, original stage on it. I really cannot wait till this game comes out for real and I hope you guys enjoy these battles as I'm just going to play them, occasionally commentate, but not too too often. And that's what I was talking about with the counters there. Um, I got kind of whipped around by that towel thing that Mario has been using since I think Melee he had it. And uh, yeah, so he won that round, computer. And we're going to go into our next round here. I'm going to change my character up and I'm going to try to be Mega Man. Now Mega Man's a newcomer to the series. Um, I believe they bought the rights from, I guess, Namco or whatever to use him in the game. And he's a really, really dynamic character. He's a lot better than I thought he would be. And he's really fun to play as, so he might end up being um, a regularly used character for myself when Smash Bros. actually does come out. Now that, I, I'm not sure what this called, Leaf Blade I guess we'll call it, but um, basically you generate a mini shield kind of thing and it goes and uh, the leaves go out and shoot people and whatever. Mega Man's very projectile based and the items are back in this game. As you can see the Kirby Dream Star is back and he does end up jumping up on the ledge as I go for it. Just helpful for me. Items, the items I really like in this game. Um, you got a jetpack one right now, and that basically just gives you extra boost going up. You can kill yourself with it, so I would advise you don't try to uh, go too too high. But it is fun. And Mega Man's down smash. He rubs flames from the ground using a, his um boosters, his busters. I mean, sorry, on the on his arms, and that allows him um to get some surface area damage around them, and it shoots you up pretty high too. It's not um, you know how. When you have the smash attack, sometimes the enemy goes to the sides or straight down and bounces off. With Mega Man's, everything seems to be projectile based, so you'll either be going up in the air slightly or just pure up. And um, I did get a mini mushroom there that I couldn't see because of the Nintendo in the middle of the way. So I do get a KO on myself. And Mega Man Smash is supposed to be really awesome, and I do get it here, but I missed the guy and I didn't realize I had to get him in there. So that doesn't help me at all. But, um, and I'm getting a little desperate for a kill here because we are getting down to the final 30 seconds of the match and I do get the kill which is really helpful there's a Hylian shield if you don't see that on the left that I believe boosts your defenses 
Mega Laser Cannon, and I always miss with this thing, so yeah. What else is new? Finally, the blue shell from Mario Kart. I like this new one because it kind of hovers around looking for your enemy. Um, and he's just going to blow up there, and boom. We are going to miss a couple smash attacks there. But yeah, Mega Man's an extremely versatile character. He's very, 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 very fun to play with. And we are going to be in sudden death again. And I'm going to make the mistake of going straight back down, which allows him to use the up smash and knock me out. But overall, I think Mega Man's a really, really, really durable character, and I enjoy playing as him. Um, I think that there's going to... It's going to be an interesting dynamic with his projectile moves. And we're going to switch up and fight another random guy on the battlefield stage of um, this game, which means we really didn't switch up. And I don't know what I'm saying at this point, but it's fun. So we're going to be against Pikachu this time. And I love Pikachu, but he is kind of nerfed this game. Um, a lot of his attacks are weakened, they have less functionality. His final smash, I know, is absolutely worthless right in this game. Um, it really doesn't do that much at all. But Mega Man seems to do really well against Pikachu, at least in my case, and I don't know why. And I don't know why I paused there either. But yeah. But yeah, Pikachu um, seems a little weaker. It is useful. I I do do rather well with it. I've played with it separately. But um, it's it's okay, I guess. It's not horrible. It's just not the best character, I think, in this game. demo at all. I'm torn up between Link and um, Mega Man as being the best two characters for this demo. But Mega Man's um, side smash. You power up your buster and you just unleash. It's like Samus's um, charge beam, I guess you could call it, except it's a smash attack, it's a lot faster, and you can't hold on to it if you do get, um, if you do dodge or anything, so it's, it's an immediate thing. And we do miss the ledge there. Mega Man's up is purely up, but think of Captain, um, not Captain, oh yeah, of, um, what's his name? I can't remember the character from Brawl, where he has, like, the bounce thing below him, and he shoots, oh, Sonic, right. Sonic's um, vertical jump where he just goes straight up and you have to kind of maneuver yourself back before you uh, fall off the stage, but it's useful, it just it's kind of limited and it is a kind of a downside to me, his recovery move is not that good. Pika 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 And I'm gonna phase out again, let you guys enjoy this battle.
So we're heading to another sudden death here, um, let me know in the comment section below what you think of the demo so far, if you played it, what you're most looking forward to character wise when the game does come out. Be sure to leave a like for this video, um, we want to get to our Colo Golo of 30 likes for this video. Please subscribe to Colo Nation, and this is your Colo King, Al, and I am checking out.